Welcome to Solitaire Quest, Episode 5. This is a very special formatted version of Solitaire Quest. I currently, currently have another window up. Today, we will be talking about Star Trek Picard. Instead of doing a review, no. Instead of doing a review of that whole series, because hell no. I might do individual episodes here and there. I get back to it. But instead of doing that, I'm going to do a list. Ten things I liked about Star Trek Picard. And literally 90 things... Literally 90 things I effing hate or don't like about Star Trek Picard. Oh, it is ridiculous. Ugh, it's just terrible. So anything, anyway, instead of a full review of, se of the season, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do my list. So yeah, number one, one good thing I liked about Pic Star Trek Picard is I got John John Luke Picard. He's he's in the story. I can't say to his I can't say anything to his character, but hey, he's there. Uh, he's just there. That's cool. Number two is Data. Same reason, different day. Oh, Rami Legolas, that guy. Oh, he, he's. I uh, I wish. I wish Rami Legolas and Rios could just like adventure in a much, much cool, do an adventure in a much cooler series. They really, they're really the bright, they're really the brighter spots of the, of this series. Which is, which is terrible because it's a show about Picard. Freaking terrible because this is a show about Picard. And uh, yeah, it says something when that get, when pretty much a side character is better liked by me than the main character that is actual freaking Picard. Oh, neat. I I should I should really I should really I should do I should do this while I'm drinking. I should. And yeah, number four and five, we got Rio and his five identical holograms. I found those were great. Didn't I liked them? Pretty neat, pretty nifty. And we got Rio dressed as a pimp. Enough said about that, you know. And what else? Oh yeah, the Enterprise D starship born. Yeah. People, the people who animated that, oh man, like I'm not a starship sexual, but if I was, I was, if I was, then the, then the start, starship enterprise would be really bangable to me. I also have the vintage Romulan Warbird, it's pretty nice, I liked it. That's number seven. Number eight. It's the Romulan couple living with Picard. They're, they're, they're nice. They're cute. Oh, yeah. And number nine is the huge Federation fleet that showed up at the end and did nothing. That's fine. And number ten. The song played during Data's unplugging death. Yeah. 
Oh, that, that was a nice song. Now, that's ten things I liked about Star Trek Picard. Uh, those are the ten things. The only ten things. Everything bad about Star Trek Picard. Number one. The overall degradation. Gene Roddenberry's vision of a brighter future. And the fact that he's probably spinning in his grave right now. Gene Roddenberry, that man... That man showed us a future where where Japanese folks, black folks, and Russian folks, and white folks can get onto a spaceship, travel to starters, and do and do science fiction stuff together in peace, in harmony. He showed us that. To see what happened, to see what's happened to it now, just terrible. Number two. Number two. The complete and abject abandonment of Gene Roddenberry's method of storytelling. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Now... Star Trek The Next Generation, Star Trek The Next Generation, we had a, we had a cast of crew, didn't really get, a, that got along, they were nice to each other, and the drama always came from the stories that involved the characters, that's where the drama came from. That that's where the Star Trek magic came from, and and to see it discarded, just just thrown away, and replaced with like an overarching story over the entire season that is really, really, really terrible. That is just a, that that's just the, that's just a piss off. That that's just a piss off. Number three, no caretaking done to preserve Gene Roddenberry's legacy. Goes without saying. Good goes without saying. Ah, oh, Alex Kurtzman, you're, you're a dumbass. No, number four. Number four, not a return to a TNG type series. Yeah. You really you want you want you want to you want to bring people back, Kurtzman. You want you want you want to do that. You want to do that. You do what Seth MacFarlane is doing. Literally, that's it. You do what he's doing. Copy him. Just copy him. It's real simple. Oh yeah, I don't think I stated this. I can't state this enough. I'm the Blood Knight of the Old Republic of Blood Ganistan. I don't know if I said that at the beginning of the video. Just to clarify. If you if you don't know already, if you don't know already, I think I just skipped that part of the intro. I'm sorry. Sorry to myself mostly. Ugh. Anyway. Anyway. Items 5 and 6, nothing learned from the failure of STD, and number 6, intro to the re intro, too reminiscent of STD intro. So yeah, they, they took the, the main character in this show, Star Trek Picard, is Soji for some reason in a in a series named Star Trek Picard. The main protagonist is Soji, and she is a really bland character, not unlike Michael Burnham. 
Not very unlike that. And yeah, they did not learn. They did not learn. Because there's no incentive for them to learn. They're just the money hose is there. And they're just gonna they're just gonna they're just gonna spray it all over. Anyway. Anyway, number seven, uncertainties as to who this show is targeted to. It's not targeted to the fans. I don't know who it's targeted to. Maybe, maybe there's like a group out there that gobbles all this stuff up. And I, I, they've just been like, they're, they're ninjas or something, or they pirate all their shit. But I don't know who this, I don't know it's target, targeted for, because the fans, it's not targeted toward the fans, because cause they're just punching Gene Roddenberry's life's work with a fucking, a fucking dildo strapped to their freaking fucking hands. I don't know who, I don't know who it's targeted to. I honestly can't, I honestly can't tell. In the USA. In the U number eight, in the USA must be viewed on CBS All Access. That's right. Didn't have any confidence in the show, TV show, so they stuck it on to CBS All Access. No confidence whatsoever. Couldn't put it on the prime time slots for some reason. The Orville was the first two seasons of Orville. They were there. I think they are going to be there. I think in Canada, they're going to be coming back to the Czech channels and whatnot. Maybe not space. Oh, oh. I, the Blood Knight of the Old Republic of Blood Afghanistan. I, 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 I'm a. I came to Canada. To see this series for myself, I came to Canada. I parked my, I brought, I parked my, uh, my invisible stealth landing craft in a small town in rural Canada somewhere, and I, I picked up the, I picked up the TV signals. I found it in Canada. I couldn't find it in America. Anyway. Anyway. Number number nine. Number nine. The fact that this show takes place in the prime timeline. Yeah. No, this is... Yeah. Terrible. Fuck. Screw that. Screw it. Just screw it. Complete... Number ten. Complete lack of friend... Family friendly content. Yep. Number 11. Nostalgia used as bait in first episode. Oh, yeah. They definitely tried to lure, lure us in. Number 12. Use of the F word in a Star Trek series. Yeah, that happened. Graphic buy. Number 13. I should do us. Yeah. Well, it's, it's difficult numbering all this shit. Ugh. Number 13. Graphic violence in a Star Trek series. Yeah. We're, we're at number 13, and I find I found 90 things wrong with this series. We're gonna be a while. We are gonna be a while. Ugh. We are gonna be a while. I might have to readjust how I'm sitting right now. Readjust the mic. Move everything around. So I'm more comfortable. Okay. Next we have a cancelled relationship between Seven and Jacote, which is number 14. 
Yeah, I, I really think they should have got together, stayed together. They're good. They're a good couple. Number 15. The implied implication by the writers that gay relationships have greater value than interracial relationships. Seriously. Seven of Nine is a cyborg. She is a cyborg. Not a fembot, a cyborg. And Chakotay, he's ethnically Native American, for fuck's sakes. For fuck's sakes. Fucking hubris. <laughs> no, yeah, Chakotay. They broke up an interracial couple so they could turn a character gay. Which, that is just warped. That is just warped. Yeah, number 16, Seven's character arc after Star Trek Voyager in general, what they did to her, that was just freaking terrible. I know she's going to grow, she's going to grow as an individual, but I don't, I don't see her becoming just a freaking terrible, just a goddamn terrible mockery version of herself that is what we got. That is just, that is just, that is just terrible. And yeah, what else? 17. We're at number 17, folks. And we are into a 16-minute video. Number 17. Seven just murders a chick. Yeah, that's right. She just does. She just, she just murders a chick. Straight up. Does it. Just does it. Would would uh would Gene Roddenberry have approved of that? Probably not. Probably not. I don't think he would. Number eighteen. Picard and crew beam seven back with phaser rifles back to murder the chick. That, that is just moronic. That, 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 that is moronic as all hell. What else? Number, number 19. Seven just murders Rom, the Romulan spy chick. I don't know this Romulan spy chick name. She, but yeah, just murders her. Yeah, what else? That was number 19, and now we're at number 20. Number twenty out of a out of a ninety ninety out of a ninety twenty out of ninety folks twenty out of ninety each ship getting butchered horribly eye gouged and then mercy killed yeah my god my god that. That happening to that character is undeserved. It just freaking is. I'm not saying people... I'm not saying everyone should have... Everyone should have happy endings. Sometimes you just get flattened by a transport truck that just slams into you. Sometimes... Sometimes shit terrible... Terrible shit just happens to you. You just die terribly. It happens. It's an ex. It's, 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 it happens. It happens. But what this, but no. Icheb? The kid was, the kid was a watchable, likable version of freaking Wesley Crusher. To put it in perspective. Just to put it in perspective. And, yeah, what else? Number 21. Suicide energy railing Romulus cultist suicide scene. Yeah. Just say that ten times fast. Say it. Try it. I dare you. Yeah, that, that was just, that was just, that was just, uh, that was just. Oh, deal again. Yes, I will. That was just hilarious. Yeah. 
freaking terrible. Not on Jean Jean's wa on Jean's watch. No. No. What else? Number twenty two. Inefficient use of cultists. Yep. Yeah. I'm the Blood Knight of the Old Republic of Bloodganistan. And we have a time honored history of of cult of cults in general. We don't have religions, we just have cults. And the only rules we have is that you use them efficiently. No no mass no mass killings, no mass sacrifices, you know, just use them efficiently. That's the only rule in Bloodganistan. That's the only rule. And what else? Hugh gets killed. Yeah, just killed. Just got killed by that Romulan chick. I don't I don't know why. That is just freaking that is just freaking ridiculous. Oh yeah, so what else? What else? The fact that the Borg have long range teleportation gateway tech. Yeah. That that exists. The Borg have it. Federation isn't part of the Borg right now. Why? I don't know. I just don't know. No, this is this is we're at number twenty four. Number twenty five X Borg being called X Bs. Yeah, that's just annoying. Number twenty six Flowers Down Borg Cube. Just dumb. Twenty seven Despair Down Borg Cube. Number 28, the concept of organic flowers taking down starships in general. Number 29, Deus Ex handheld replicator. Number 30, we're at, we're at one third, we're at one third of the way here, or as one, or as we're, we're, we're one third of the way through this list. We got Admiral Clancy. At number 30, or as I like to call her, Admiral Fuck. Because, yeah, she just says fuck a lot. I say fuck a lot. Fuck it. That's what I just have to say about that. Number 31. We got Jaffe the Drug Addict. Yeah. Yeah. What else? Number 32, Jaffe is a stand-in for modern conspiracy theorists and Trump supporters. Because, you know, you know drug addicts. They love, they love spouting off conspiracy theories and being a Trump supporter for some reason. You know, you're doing, you're doing, you're, you're doing a, you're doing, you're doing the crank. You're doing some crank. And there's nothing you, and, and there's nothing you like better doing than, like, being a conspiracy theorist and a Trump supporter. There's nothing, there's nothing better. There is nothing better in the world than spouting off conspiracy theories and being a Trump supporter and doing drugs. There's nothing better. And number 33, Jaffe not giving leeway by son and getting bitched out. Yep. Jaffe calling Picard JL all the time. That's number 34. Fuck, fucking stop that. Number 35, the implied relationship between Jaffe and Seven after last episode. Why? Number 36, the entire concept of Free Cloud existing in Star Trek. Oh my god. I, I get it. I get it. You gotta have a pleasure. You gotta have the pleasure doom. You gotta have the Pleasure Dome decreed by Kubla Khan. I get it. Those have to exist. But in Star Trek, let, I don't want to see that shit. Not at all. Just and completely antithetical to, 
to Jean's vision, I just think that... What else? What else? Number 37. Science chick going postal on mentor slash lover Bruce Maddox at the drop of a hat after she, she was shown visions of destruction and then she bangs Rios. Yeah. That, that is just... That... That, that is just... I don't... Why? This, this chick is unstable. She's... She's... She's unstable. She must have done some... She's got... She's she's probably done the crank, the meth. I don't know. Ugh. Number 38. No star... Sh no starship Enterprise E. Oh, I, I read that wrong. Number 38. No Enterprise E starship porn. Just no. That was just... This is just terrible. Missed opportunity. Number 39. No return to the Enterprise E. I missed that ship. I missed Star Trek before it went terrible. Ugh. Terrible Federation Starship designs. Yeah, number number 40. Number 41. Rio's ship could have been better designed. Yeah. I don't think that ship should have existed in, at all in the Federation. I don't think so. What else? What else? Number 42, wrong uniform, wrong uniforms used in Picard's dream slash Enterprise D spaceship porn scene. Yeah. That that is just that's just a shit test, and they failed. Can't even get the uniforms in the starship to match correctly. That that is just a missed opportunity. That's that's just a terrible shit. That's a shit test. You know these people don't care. Yeah, number 43, Riker not flying in a rebuilt, refitted Enterprise D. Yeah. Now, the Enterprise D, the saucer section, mostly, it's intact. It's mostly intact. I don't know how they couldn't, I don't know why they couldn't, Send it to space dock. I don't know why they couldn't pick it up, pick up the saucer, and build a new drive section for it. They probably could have done that. I don't think the Enterprise D was a complete loss. It wasn't a complete loss. It it got it got messed up at the end of generations. It it. It crashed up the saucer section crashed onto this planet of the surf on the surface it, it it could have been salvaged they could have had him flying in that I would have loved it I think we all would have loved that number 44 Riker getting the rise of Skywalker Lando treatment yeah that happened Literally came in with a fleet. What else? What else? Picard getting the last Jedi Luke treatment. Losing his faith in Starfleet when he is their biggest fan. Seriously, this man shills for the Federation the hardest. And they just... They just took, they just took him and just painted him in whatever the hell colors they wanted they, they threw car they threw ch they, they threw patrick stewart just a crap ton of money to do it oh my foot's getting my foot's falling asleep <sighs> there we go that's better picard gets taken down 
or gets talked down to by Deanna. Yeah, couldn't read that. I couldn't read that. What number? Okay, we're at 46. Number 47. Picard gets talked down to by Clancy and gets told to F off. Yeah. Oh my god. That was fucking terrible. Just was. I'm not holding back anymore. I'm the F words are flying. And we are we are almost we're not quite halfway through yet. Picard, number forty eight. Picard not calling on former crew to ride with him at the beginning of the series. Seriously. Seriously. At the end of TNG, Picard didn't have to assemble a new crew. For the wrath of, for for Star Trek for Star Trek three Kirk didn't have to assemble a new crew to ride with him to save Spock. That never happened. What else? What else? Number forty nine, not enough Picard screen time screen time. Number 50, Picard sidelined in a Star Trek series named Star Trek Picard. Yeah. 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 Number 51, not enough Star Trek cameos. Yeah, I think, I think we could have used more cameos. We could have used a better story in general, but hey. More, more cameos, please. What else? The pointless death and resurrection of Picard is an organic android done for political reasons. Yeah, they explicitly said that they wanted to turn Picard into an android so he can know their pain and know their plight and know their suffering and know this and know that and that and that and this and that. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, that was just... That was just pointless. Are you going to bring him back? That's pointless. What else? Blowing up of Mars. Which goes without saying, where is Cohagen going to get his ass to? Huh? You're blowing up Mars. He's got nowhere to go. How is he going to... How is Cohagen going to... How is he going to... How is he going to free the mutants and get the air? Or not Cohagen. Ar whatever Arnold Schwarzenegger's character name was. I don't care any at this point. I don't care. How is Arnold supposed to get to Mars if it's blown up? That's all I'm saying. Oh, number, thir number 54. The use of the blowing up of Mars to ban AI. Yes. This. Just this. Number 55. AI ban counter to Federation mission to explore and seek out new life. Hell yeah. This is it. Right here. If, if the Federation creates robot life they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna meet with it, and they're gonna understand it. They're not gonna ban it. Oh, let's see. What other things are terrible? Number 56. Number 56, Soji. Number 57, Romulan spy guy who banged Soji. Number 58, sister to Romulan spy guy who banged Soji. Number 51, and this goes without saying, not enough memorable named characters. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Number 60, organic android able to use Vulcan mind meld by reading Vulcan texts. Yeah. 
Vulcan, just, you know, you just read the Vulcan text. You know how to mind melt. That's it. What else? Number 30, no, no, not 36. What am I doing? Number 61, Lord of the Rings, ripoff of Rangers. Yep. What else? Number 62, Mass Effect ripoff of Reapers. <laughs> They're just terrible. Just this point that they have no original ideas. They have no original ideas and they know it. They know it. Can't write Star Trek for shit and have no original ideas. Oh, that's true. Math number 63. Mass Effect ripoff of Cycles of Extinction. Number 64. Mass Effect ripoff of Warning Beacon with disturbing images. Number 65. This goes without saying. The fact that the above three items were done better by Mass Effect. Yes. By Mass Effect. Oh. Number 66. Rami Legolas put on the shelf most of the time in show. That guy's just, that guy's just, I want, pl I want plushies of that guy. I, I want, I want plushies of that guy. I want, I want the plushies, man. I put him, put him right beside my plushie of like, my, pl the plushie of, uh, my Elsa plushie. Put him right beside there. Just put him right beside. Which, yeah, I'm Elsa Plushy. Oh, tried to, tried to give that, to, tried to give that thing to my mom as a joke. In that, uh, she said, no, why would I want it? And no, I own an Elsa Plushy. No, 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 I want a plushie of Rami Legolas. I want that. Put him right beside my plushie of Elsa. Best, best part of my experience, of my viewing experience. To Rise of Skywalker was just going and buying the Elsa plushie from her mother as a gag, as a joke. That was just the best, ex that was the best experience of that movie watching experience. Well, anyway, where was I? Let's see, no number 67, not enough Rami Legolas action scenes. Yep. No Romulan Federation space battle during the last episode. Ah, oh, if you're sitting through this, you, you have the patience of a saint. Oh. I'm, all, I'm tempted to go, oh, screw it, two par putting this into two parts, but no. If you're, if you're patient enough, you've gotten through this, you've, you're in. You're in, folks. You're in. I'm in, you're in. Um, but I'm not in urine, so ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, no Romulan Federation space battle during last episode. Yep, number sixty-nine. Number sixty-nine. Sixty-nine. Romulan forensics magic. Mm. Number seventy. Romulan refugees living in proper poverty for some reason when replicators exist. That is just dickish. For Kurtzman to do that to a people, a fictional people. That is just dickish of him. Replicators exist. The Federation is wealthy. There's, There are literally 3D printers exist now. In the Federation, they could just they could just print off 3D printers. They could just build Romulans bitchin' ass houses and bitchin' ass cities on habitable planets. They could do it. Oh my God, I am three. I am finished two games of solitaire. Hmm. Yes. What else? Number seventy-one. Backstory comic needed for much needed context and backstory. That is just hilarious. Number 72. The fact that I have to pay for a backstory comic. Yeah. 
Put all your put it put it all put it all in your TV series, guys. Put some X put put it all there. Come on. Oh yes, what else? Number seventy three. The unplugging of data. And number seventy four, the undoing of data's hero death in Star Trek Nemesis. Yes. That is it. That's that's what I'm that's that that is just when I saw that I was effing shocked. I was effing shocked. If I was Picard, I would bring back my best friend, Data. I would bring him back because I'm I am he is he was my best friend. I'd bring him back. That's just how it would roll. Give Data a new lease on life, rather than being stuck in a goddamn three thumb drives. Oh, what else? Number 75. No explanation how a positronic neuron was retrieved from Data. Number 76. The implication that a positronic neuron from Data might have survived a point-blank point spaceship explosion. Yes. Data. Data was point-blank in a goddamn spaceship explosion. There is no way you're picking... You're no, there's no way you're putting him back together from that. Let alone finding a piece of him that still lives and exists. You're, you're basically, you're basically fine. You're basically, he's been, he, he got atomized. For all intents and purposes, he's dead. He is dust. He is atoms. He is just atomized. And yeah. Yeah. It, that is just retarded. The implication that, number 77. The implication that a positronic neuron, neuron was extracted and donated to Bruce Maddox. Making data slightly less smart. Yeah, I don't. Uh, that doesn't. That doesn't jive well with me. Number seventy-eight. Bringing back data from one positronic neuron. Yeah, I'm pretty. Yeah, the way data died, I'm. I'm thinking you would have need the Dragon Balls there to do it, to bring him back. What else? What else? Number 79. Androids built in pairs, apparently, so where's Data's Lores and B Force twin? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, where, where are they? Where are they? Data, Data and Lore were built separately apart from each other. And B Four was a completely different, was a prototype. Oh, what else? Number 80. Android brain needed to cure Riker's Riker's daughters Riker's cure Riker's daughters of sickness. Daughter of sickness. Oh, I didn't spell that right. Yeah, that was just dumb. AIs and number 81. I keep I keep I keep at us uh stop at a slow down or speed up, I don't know. Number 81. AIs and Romulans used as a marginalized race by writers. Yeah, that's, just, that's not fun at all. Not fun to see. Not at all. The Romulans back in the original series were the analog to China. They were the analog to China. The Klingons were the analog to the Soviet Union. And the Romulans were the analog to China. Oh, yeah. Number 82. B4 dismantled and not allowed to grow as an individual. Yeah, that was a dickish move. Uh, number 83. No explanation why Soji is on the Borg cube if she's investigating the AI band. Why, why is she there? I don't know. 84. Romulans having 200 warboards... Warbirds when they are a failed state. Number 85. 
sending 200 Romulan warbirds to sterilize a single planet. Not, no. Number 86. Stun setting weapons not used to kidnap Soji's sister. Number 87. Picard and crew somehow figure out the whole plot. Yeah, that's just, that was just ridiculous. Number 88. Holograms not included in the AI ban. For some reason, when they can become just as intelligent. Number 89. Science chick used as a spy on board ship with no spy training. Seriously, they could have just put in like a like a carbon copy base double. They could have used some Mission Impossible stuff. Face masks. Make a woman. I don't know. I don't know anymore. And number 90. No urgency to find Soji. Yeah. Yeah. That was a slog. Oh my god. I'm just as tired as you are. I am just as tired. I am. If you stuck through that. If you stuck through that, congratulations. You win, you win the internet. Pick up your internet at the nearest available agency and do that. You just, you won it. Oh yeah, that, that was my list of 10 things I liked about Star Trek Picard and 90 things I didn't like about Star Trek Picard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Any suggestions for content, just shout at me. Just shout at my face. Any suggestions, shout, shout at my face. Just put it in the comment section. I'm sorry for the audio. I'm currently going to have, uh... The thoughts, the 24 hour record, the 24 record, 24 hour record of, uh, the met of thoughts from a Karen put into my brain, 24 hours of a Karen's thoughts put into my brain, that's going to be fun, that's going to be a penance for the audio, so yeah, take your Joels in one where you can, stay frosty, peace out. Party on. And yeah, take a break. You just watched this entire video. Go love yourself. Go outside. Go outside. Find some sunshine. Find some green. And set up a lawn chair. That's all I have to say. I'm not going to finish this game with solitaire. Peace out.